Yeah, as we say, next up for Checo, it is his home race, Mexico, and coming off the back of a, of a, a decent drive today, let's uh, get the thoughts of Christian. I, I suppose, Christian, we've just been talking to Toto, uh, the what-ifs from the Mercedes yeah. side. Uh, he felt, obviously, they were hanging out for the one stop, left them out a couple of laps too, too long, and there was too much for Lewis to do. Um, do you think you would have been able to reply? If, if the race had been a couple of laps longer? I think we, we before the race, all our simulations um, were telling us the two-stop was the fastest race for us. And uh, so that's what we committed to. The debate was, do we run the hard in the middle stint or the medium? And uh, we knew going up against Lando that they committed to the two hard. So we felt going medium, medium, uh, it was crucial to, for Max to make use of that and get the pass done, get the track position, and then run our fastest race to the end of the race. And um, I think Mercedes, they, they just found themselves in no man's land today. They, they sort of attempted a one, aborted, and obviously then took the better tyre, the medium tyre for the final stint. But thankfully, we had just enough to, uh, to, to hold them off. It still always looked like Max had it under control until those last two or three laps. Was that the tyres just falling off, or was he nursing something else? Well, he was uh, managing a brake issue throughout the race. So, uh, and he just, you could hear he wasn't happy uh, about the brake. So, um, and when you've got, got that issue, you're building in a bit of a margin. Um, so I think all his focus was on that, and he knew very well what the gap was, and he was, he was managing that. It's always fun to hear him get excited in there while leading. Um, Checo had a great day today. Can you add anything to what contributed to having such a strong finish, a strong race coming from ninth? I think he's had, uh, yeah, he's had good race pace, and I think he'll take hopefully a lot of confidence. He's had two tough races, and I hope today he drove a very good race before his home race next weekend. Hopefully that will uh, put him in, uh, you know, a good space for for the madness of Mexico next weekend. But obviously the pace of the cars around you has, has got a lot better because yeah. you say Checo had a good race. Max won the race and Checo finished fifth. Yeah. So on, if the car was performing a little bit better, he obviously would have been closer to, to Max in yeah. terms of position. So it's tough out there right for you guys. It is. Moment. I mean, we started sixth and ninth and, uh, and so to win the race was, we knew it was going to be very tough today. And, you know, we haven't developed the car at all really from the, from the summer break. So, uh, and you can see others are bringing performance and and the gap is converging which is why it just shows in formula one if you're if you're not uh you know updating you're, you're standing if you're standing still you're going backwards and of course all of our focus is currently on next year's car gp was getting a bit of flat today over the uh, yeah. over the radio and then he said see you friday what did he, what do you mean by that well, well you know it was not a code or anything like that so um you know the marital bliss between the two of them just you know, roll, rolls on. Uh, no, he uh, he's had to rush back to the UK, so he was uh, rushing to catch a flight. So, uh, um, so yeah, it used to be Helmut that left the track early. Now it's the race engineer that's uh, straight out after the race. Quick word on the jeans. Obviously, yes. it's, a, it's a year to the day yeah. since we, we we lost Dietrich. Um, he would have, you know, he'd have looked down and enjoyed that one. I yeah, imagine. hopefully, looking down, he would have enjoyed that. I mean. He only ever wore a pair of jeans, and so that's why today the whole team is wearing jeans, just to, to tip our hat to him. And, uh, you know, it's been a remarkable 12 months for the team, and, um, you know, we simply wouldn't be here without him. And so, uh, you know, remembering him today here in the Rolling Stones playing loud after the race, um, hopefully he's looking down and enjoyed that one. Well done again. Thank Appreciate you very much. Christian, uh, let's have